Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on my go-to holiday makeup look. Before I get started, let me just quickly say, we got the house. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but we have been attempting to purchase our dream home since the beginning of October, and all of this stuff kept happening. We couldn't agree on a price, and seriously, like five minutes ago, I found out that we got the house. So I'm like, ah! That's not what the video is about, but I just wanted to let you guys know because I'm super, super excited right now. But anyway, this video is on the look that I am wearing. It's just my go-to look around the holidays. If one of my girlfriends calls me up spur of the moment and says, let's go get drinks, which never seems to happen because I just want to stay home in my pajamas, but hey, it could happen. If I have like a Christmas party or something to go to, this is always just the look that I seem to wear. The eye is matte, but it's kind of smoked out. It's super, super simple, and then I just pair it with a red lip. I feel like it's very traditional, but I think it looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this look, and I hope you guys like it. Now today's video is in collaboration with Scandinavia. Now I paired up with Scandinavia probably about a month or so ago, and you guys took really well to that video. I know a lot of you ended up getting the deal that they were offering. They're offering that same deal yet again. I will put the code down below and possibly across the screen if you guys are interested. So I was super excited when Scandinavia asked me if I would like to team up with them yet again. Now, the same focus as last time are on the primer and the setting sprays. These two products are two holy grail products for me. I know a lot of you ended up ordering them last time and so many people tweeted me or snapped me and said, oh my God, where have I been without these sprays? They're not like other primer and setting sprays. And now that you guys have them, a lot of you, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. Um, I used to use different brands of setting sprays. I'm not going to put anybody on blast, but I used to use different brands. And then when I discovered these, it was just like everything else got thrown into the like no thank you pile. These are just the best. The primer spray is my favorite. Now I was looking on their website. I'm just going to read you guys what it says because it's actually very interesting and it's something that even I did not know. Not that I know everything, but you know what I mean. That sounded really terrible. I just feel like I know a lot about these products because I love them so much, but I'm gonna read you what this says. Scandinavia's patented technology forms a lightweight, breathable web working with your makeup that slowly releases over 16 hours. I had no idea this existed. The time-released evaporation retains moisture longer while also drawing heat away from the skin as it slowly evaporates throughout the day. The results are fresh, hydrated makeup for up to 16 hours. That's crazy. I had no idea. Like, does it even say that on here? That's very cool and that makes me like it even more. Now, I totally feel like these two sprays used in conjunction with... <laughs> I do feel like these two sprays used in conjunction with each other. Oh, that was hard to say. The primer spray before your foundation and then the setting spray after you get everything done. I feel like these two lock everything in for the entire day. So I totally think that that is true. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the makeup. Now, I will put the deal down below for you guys if you're interested in getting the setting sprays plus a free little travel spray and free US shipping. Deal is down below. It is not an affiliate code and affiliate link. I don't make anything off of that link. So if you're someone who's not into affiliate links or codes, that is not an affiliate code. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. It's super easy and honestly, like if I'm not rambling on and being a goofball, it takes me like 10 minutes to do. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so diving right in with my Scandinavia primer spray, I pretty much douse myself in it because it feels amazing. Then I'm going in with my Nivea Post Shave Balm. I do have a video on this product. It's like $3. Well, I got it on sale for like $3.50. It's such a good primer. I love it. I'm like totally into it right now. Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Warm Beige. And you guys know the drill. I'm just plopping this all over my face and I'm going to blend it in with a damp beauty blender. 
I think I ended up speeding this up because, yeah, you guys have seen me do this before, but just putting on my foundation. I was watching Law and Order, so if you see my eyes, like, slide to the side, it's because I was watching TV. Then I'm going in with the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Sable. I love this concealer, but the applicator is so odd. Like, it doesn't dispense the product properly. I had to keep going back in and getting more product. You can see my face. I was like extremely confused. Like, where is the product? But once you get it on, it is amazing. I am totally in love with this concealer. It's very comparable to the Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is my holy grail concealer. And then I blended that in with my G2 brush from Morphe. Oh, get it, sister. I was singing the Law and Order theme song. I kind of got caught up in the moment. Oh, oh my. Oh yeah, get it, girl. Get it. Feel it. So I'm just blending that in. I probably should have sped through this part, but whenever I do that, you guys were like, no, keep it in real time. So this is in real tizam. Blend it in. This concealer, though, I do have a Sephora video coming. Just know that concealer is amazing. Then I'm going in with my NARS Crystal Powder, and I was looking for my Kat Von D brush. And as usual, you guys know the drill. I keep trying to use other powders for my under eyes, and I just, I can't. This concealer with this powder, it's just good. It looks so nice. It's light, but it covers really well. Totally, totally into it right now. This concealer seriously is like my favorite thing at the moment. So I just put that everywhere that I put concealer pretty much in my T-zone. Then I am priming my lids with my MAC 24-hour, I forget what it's called, but I will put it down below. And then I'm starting out with my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I'm using the shade Combust with my E40 from Sigma, and I'm just running that all through my crease as per every day of my life. Just everywhere. Messy, like a maniac. Then I went in with the shade 13, and I put that all over pretty much my entire lid, but I focused it like on the inner half just so it would be nice and bright. And then I took the shade, I think I started out with Radar. Let me look. Yes, Radar. And I put that on the outer part. And you can see I'm being very messy. I'm just kind of slapping it on, blending it out, like fading it toward the inner part. This is my typical eye look. I didn't do any shimmer or glitter just because I wanted it to be like nice and matte. Then I went in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in black, and I tight lined, and I did my waterline. Um, I do have some colorful, sparkly, super shimmery, like, out there looks coming. Actually, I think my next video is going to be, like, a very colorful look. But I wanted to show you guys my go-to look just because I think it's gorgeous and it's so easy. Now I'm using the shade Whiskey, which is just a deep matte brown just to darken everything up and kind of smoke out that outer edge. Then I just took my E40 and made sure that everything was blended out nicely and the, 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 that there were no harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with Whiskey and I'm smoking that out on pretty much my entire lower lash line, but I did kind of avoid like the inner corners. Still smoking. Smoke it, girl smoke that shadow. I always look so angry when I do like voiceovers. I don't know why. Then I went in with 13, that same shade that I used on my lid, and I put it all over the inner part. I did my inner corner, my inner like lower lash line, just so it would be nice and bright, but I didn't want to have any shimmer. And I had to like hold myself back from putting like a bright shimmery shadow on but I did it. Then I mixed Black Market and Whiskey. Black Market's just like the black in the smoky palette. I just wanted it to be a little bit darker because I really like that contrast of the dark outer edge. I mean, am I telling you guys anything you don't know? Then I took a brush with no product on it and I just really blended out the lower lash line. I wanted it to be nice and smoky like all around my lash line, upper and lower. Then I took an angled brush with Black Market, and I very messily just put this all over my upper lash line, as you can see. 
And then I go in with a pencil brush. I use the Morphe E36 because that's like the greatest brush ever. And I just smudge it out. I really like the matte eye, like the very easy, soft eye. But then you have this really dark lash line. I think that looks really sexy. And you can smoke it out as much as you want. I didn't go too hardcore, but like if I were wearing this at night, I would really pile on the black shadow and then just really take your time smoking it out and it looks so sexy. Then I just took a business card, it just happened to be a Makeup Forever one, and I took Black Market and I just wanted, not a wing, but I just wanted it to be like flared out a little bit on the outer edge. And I did end up going back in after I got done filming and kind of blended it out a little more because I felt like it looked a little odd. But this is just a quick, easy thing that you can do if you don't want to do winged liner but you want that look. See how it looks a little odd there? I went back in and kind of messed with it. Um, now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Lash. And this mascara I like. I don't know that I love it. I wish it gave a little bit more length, but it does really separate. I mean, it's a good mascara. It's not like my favorite, but it's good. And then my MAC Extend to Play Giga Black Lash on my lower lashes, as always. The greatest lower lash mascara. Then I'm taking 13 again and just doing the old brow bone. <laughs> oh God, sorry. Let me turn my phone off. Then I am going mm -hmm. in, oh my god, my phone's blowing up. I went in with the Sephora, what is this called? It's a bronzing powder in the shade Canary Islands. And I used that to warm up my complexion. So I used it like in my, in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, under my chin, and down my neck. Because I am like super pale right now and we needed some color. A bitch needs a little bit of color in her life. Then I went in with Girlactic Cabo, and I contoured just a tiny bit. And I do have a discount code for Girlactic. I will put it down below for you guys. It gets you 15% off anything on, on Girlactic's site. Oh my god, I can't talk. Then I went in with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder, and I'm using a Makeup Geek brush. And I am baking. Just because I felt like the lower part of my contour was a little bit patchy it always gets like that on me though that's just I don't know it's my skin or it's me or something so I like to do that and then I let it sit while I do my highlight and I'm using Anastasia So Hollywood I know everybody's been talking about Max Oh Darling but honestly you guys Anastasia So Hollywood is just as good it is the most beautiful soft gold oh my gosh I could just pile this on for days and never get tired of it so I'm just putting that in all the normal highlighting spots tops of the cheekbones cupid's bow on the tip of my nose then I'm taking a brush with no product on it and I am just getting that powder off and kind of blending it together but see how it really like brightens that area and it just makes your contour look a little bit more blended. It's such a quick, easy trick, and it works really well. And on me, it does not make my face look caked with powder at all. Then I'm going in with this blush from the NARS Stephen Klein palette. And I'm putting that on with a little angled brush from, I think that's a Sigma brush. I love the NARS Stephen Klein palette their best blush palette ever. I'm taking that same brush that I used to wipe off the Laura Mercier powder and I'm just blending everything together. Then I'm going in with ColourPop Silhouette. This is one of their Ultra Mattes. And if you guys follow my videos, you know that I used to despise the Ultra Mattes. Like that first batch was terrible. But ever since, like everything that's been put out since that first batch, really, really good. They're not crumbly. They don't they're not super drying like I had this one for hours and hours and it was comfortable Thank you ColourPop for fixing them because I really love the colors and now I feel like I can wear them This is a gorgeous just true red very good for the holidays. It's so pretty I love a red lip with a matte eye. I just think it looks really nice 
So that is pretty much it. We're just gonna sit here while I do my lips. Now I'm taking my Scandinavia setting spray and again, I am dousing myself with it. And then I always fan myself off. It's such a habit. But that is the look. I hope you guys liked it. I think this is a beautiful look for the holidays. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I will see you later. Bye. Hey guys. Oh, the one freaking wave. Put that hand away. Don't blame you. I'm seriously had this lip on for like seven hours and my lips are still not dry. Colourpop, you're freaking killing it. You're freaking killing it. Gold color bottle. Oh my god, you guys, I can't breathe. Like, it's not even because I'm excited about something. I just can't freaking breathe. I need an inhaler. Oh my god, that was like a cheerleading move and not a good one. And it's like crazy to me. What the freak is your hand doing? Put it down. We got the house. I swear I just saw a fly. I feel like he's in my hair. I'm so excited, but I'm sweating my tits off. My tits are about to fall. Oh, so enough of me blambering. Blambering? <laughs> blambering is rambling and blabbering. Blambering. Sorry about that blamber. Sounds like blueberry pie. Which I'm not against. <laughs>